Good evening. My name is Kathleen Ayao, and I am the current English department chair at Amherst County High School. I have 37 years of teaching experience. 28 of those have been at Amherst County High School. On behalf of the English department, I'm sharing concerns over two issues, the opt-in for sexually explicit, explicit materials and the recent challenges to numerous books in our high school's library. First, the opt-in policy for se sexually explicit material. We believe that this new policy is a distraction and a non-issue. I can say with reasonable confidence that no English teacher is currently or has recently taught any sexually explicit material in the English department. We are trained professionals who choose materials wisely and would like to be respected and trusted as such. We are cognizant of the fact that we are teaching minors and we do not seek to teach salacious or lewd materials. Second, we believe that the opt-in policy is misguided. Um, if there must be a policy, it should be an opt-out policy, which many of us have voluntarily used throughout the years for material that we um, deem might be sensitive. An opt-in policy places a huge burden on teachers to send out and collect forms that will end up being lost or not given to parents. Teachers will have to spend time we do not have to try to collect these forms, phone calls, emails, resending forms, tabulating responses. Then we will have to research and gather alternative resources for those who have not returned the forms. This opens up another array of problems. What if we do not have enough alternate resources? What if we are competing with another teacher for those alternative resources? What will we do with students who cannot participate in the discussion the rest of the class is having? Where will they go and who will monitor them? And are you willing to pay us to develop and grade two sets of lessons? Because that is the reality of what teachers would have to do. In order to avoid this hassle, some teachers may elect to simply avoid the headache and just teach strictly through the textbook which is currently a good 20 years old and losing relevance by the minute. Third, the English department finds it dismaying and puzzling that we were never consulted about a policy change that affects us intimately. With our many years of teaching experience, we could have explained the effects this policy change will have on teachers, students, parents, and curriculum. We feel discredited and distrusted by the school board. We request that the school board change this new policy to an opt-out policy. Parents who are concerned about sexually explicit material will be attentive to forms sent home about this issue and will be sure to send them back. Creating plans for one or two students who have opted out is much more manageable for all concern than creating plans for 15, 20, 25 students who simply would not return a form. My final concern relates to library book challenges. There are currently 11 books being challenged in our library, and I understand there may be more coming. Let's have faith in our librarians. They are degreed professionals with many years experience. They do not make decisions in a vacuum. They research titles, read reviews, and follow what other schools are adding to their libraries. They have an obligation to meet the needs and interests of a diverse student population. The review process takes up an enormous amount of time that could be much better spent on truly urgent needs. May I finish? I have like five lines. To the board. Okay. Closing the learning loss due to COVID, improving student attendance and engagement, which are truly troubling issues, and continuing to ensure school safety. When I think of the pressing needs within our schools, I do not believe that the countless hours it will take my principal and other staff to review these books is worth it. I'm really asking for a reality check here. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Isle.